Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare running around with the SAC-3 Akimbos, just kind of preparing myself I suppose for when the new SAC-3 variants actually come to the game. So this is something I didn't really recognize yesterday when I covered the news that there's going to be a, a bunch of new stuff coming to Advanced Warfare including new SAC-3 non-Akimbo variants as well as new Royalty Elite weapons. So I made that video talking about how cool that was going to be, but I really didn't take into consideration that the idea of non-Akimbo variants is basically like bringing a brand new weapon into advanced warfare which is something sledgehammer has been doing a bunch of you know you had the ae4 and of course you have the ohm both are just guns i really enjoy using now we have the m1 irons which recently came out and now we're getting these sac 3 non akimbos it's going to be just like a brand new weapon in advanced warfare of course the sac 3 is still going to be in the game the akimbo variant is still going to be there but being able to use the gun as a single weapon using it without akimbo is going to make it feel like a brand new submachine gun and i wonder how they're going to do this of course there's going to be a single sac 3 which is just going to be the base weapon and there's going to be a bunch of different variants which are all kind of funny because now that it's just a single sack three rather than two all the variant names have something to do with like being alone or being single so it's like a uh, solitary and isolated and loner and introvert are going to be the names of the different variants of course it's going to be the royal variant as well but yeah it's gonna be pretty cool and i did some research as to what the sack three might possibly be like as a single submachine gun you know you look at the sack three just the way it performs and the way it looks it looks a lot like the vector right from previous Call of Duty games. The Vector was most notably in Modern Warfare 2 as well as Black Ops 2 and it went through some changes and it's definitely got some changes here in Advanced Warfare now that it's a SAC 3. So in Modern Warfare 2 it was basically a low damage high fire rate submachine gun. Personally I wasn't a big fan of it. I didn't like the way it looked. I didn't like the way it shot. Uh, when it came to low damage high fire rate SMGs the Mini Uzi was my go-to weapon right so I didn't use the Vector a whole lot but in Black Ops 2 they changed around the Vector a bit and they actually lowered the fire rate on it but they upped the damage on it a bit and it made it a lot more powerful and I liked it. I actually used the Vector quite a bit in Black Ops 2, but here in Advanced Warfare, it's a bit different. So the SAC-3 itself, all things considered, just looking at the numbers of the different submachine guns versus it, it's relatively low damage and a relatively low fire rate. What kind of makes up for that, what kind of compensates for that, is the fact that the SAC-3 itself is akimbo. It's an akimbo weapon. You have two of them being shot, so the low damage and the low fire rate kind of get compensated for, and they're actually a pretty viable weapon. What are they going to do if this becomes a single weapon? You know, are they going to up the damage and up the fire rate? Because if you actually go and look at these stats, right, you look at these stats for the SAC-3, a 25 max damage at close range making a 4-bullet kill is not very great, especially if you consider the fact that it has a 600 uh, RPM in terms of its fire rate, which is not very fast, guys. It's actually pretty slow. So if this were to come into the game as it is right now, you know, you see the 25 damage at close ranges and 18 damage at long ranges, then you couple on the fact that it has a 600 RPM fire rate, which is very 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 low i think it'd be one of the worst guns in advanced warfare it would be pretty terrible it would just be very 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 weak so they're going to change it i feel so i feel so the base sac 3 with not a kimbo keep in mind but the base sac 3 is going to be uh, they're gonna have to up the damage or up the fire rate on it. it's gonna have to perform fundamentally differently than how it performs while it's a kimbo otherwise it feels so it's gonna be a rather weak submachine gun so i'm interested to see what they're going to be doing with this uh, it's once again going to be a brand new weapon in advanced warfare the fourth brand new weapon to come into the game. Think about that, man. The fourth weapon. Once again, we go back there. We had the AE4 come in here. We had the OHM come in here. We had the M1 Irons, which was really recent. And now we have the SAC 3 single. Of course, the SAC 3 is already in the game, but now we're getting a single version of it, which is pretty cool in my own personal opinion. Now, I wonder in the future, is it possible that we're going to get a single XMG coming out? I think that would be pretty neat to play around with, as well as we still have more DLC. We're only two out of four in terms of DLC, so it's entirely possible because of course, they gave us a new weapon with the Havoc DLC. They gave us a new weapon with the Ascendance DLC. It's entirely possible with the final two DLCs of Advanced Warfare that they're going to each bring a brand new weapon. And plus, you couple on the fact that they're putting out brand new weapons in terms of like a single sack three just for randomly free. Like, hey, here you go. Everyone can have it. And they brought the M1 Irons. Like, here you go. Just have it. You know, they're putting out free DLC weapons as well, along with DLC weapons. That's pretty cool. They're actually adding in a bunch of stuff. And this is something Call of Duty, in my opinion, needs to do more often. You know, I wish 
wish they would do this more. Everyone loves playing around with new guns. Everybody does. It's fun. You have a bunch of guns that you play with when the game first comes out, and that's the reason why Call of Duty is so much fun, especially in the first couple months. You know, you have so many guns to play with, new maps to play on, you know, new kill streaks, and all the new experiences of a brand new Call of Duty. And then, periodically throughout the year, you get new maps to play on, right? Which is always fun. But they're new maps. You know, we've kind of we've kind of gotten soft on brand new maps. But when they add in brand new guns, it's a whole lot of fun there. You have new stuff to do. I wonder if they're ever going to implement the idea of like brand new kill streaks, uh, DLC kill streaks, perhaps not, because that seems kind of kind of crazy. Like let's say, for example, they add in a DLC kill streak, like buy the third DLC pack and you get access to an AC-130. You know, that would kind of stink because people that didn't buy the DLC, you know, they wouldn't be able to call on AC-130s. And what if the AC-130 was really powerful? Then it kind of you're kind of entering pay-to-win territory at that point. But still, that'd be kind of a neat idea if they were to put out free kill streak DLC or something like that. You know, put out a trailer or something just showing an AC-130 flying through the sky and stuff like that, and say coming soon. I think everyone would get stoked for that. You know, if we were to get brand new kill streaks put into the game, of course we love all these brand new weapons they're putting into the game. Maybe add in some new perks, add in stuff over the year. I like this. I like this new system that Sledgehammer Games is going here, and I'm hoping that Treyarch and even Infinity Ward, which their game's a couple years off, but even Infinity Ward, you know, I hope that they're paying attention to this. And when every year when we get a new Call of Duty game, we will continue to get refreshed with brand new content to play with, whether it be brand new maps, brand new guns, new kill streaks, and stuff like that all throughout the year. I think that would be a pretty cool thing. Well, that is today's video for you guys. A nice little short one here. Just wanted to kind of point out for all of you guys out there because it was pointed out to me in the comment section of my video yesterday, and it really got me thinking. It got me all jazzed up. And here you are seeing me running around with these sack threes. Not doing very good, but still uh, running around with these sack threes regardless because it's essentially going to be a brand new weapon that's going to be coming to Advanced Warfare, and I'm pretty stoked about that. But regardless, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel V deserves, and if you guys could let me know in the comment section below, how excited are you for the brand new SAC 3s? Now, of course, the royalty weapons, you know, they're neat, uh, we're going to be getting kind of new stuff being brought into the game, but essentially, royalty weapons are just previous elites that are colored purple now. <laughs> I mean, they're really not anything that big. They're going to increase your chances of getting certain variants of weapons, of course, but uh, aside from that, they're really not going to be the coolest thing in the world. I'm more excited for the single sack threes. I'm definitely thinking that's going to be pretty cool. I think uh, I saw somebody on Twitter, I think it was maybe Drifter, he coined these as the sack 1.5s, and I thought that was pretty hilarious and pretty clever. You know, sack three, but you cut that in half, it's a sack 1.5, get it? Eh? Eh? We all get it? It's funny. I thought it was pretty creative. So I'm excited for these to come out. I'm excited to see what they're going to be doing and how they're going to be changing the weapon. Of course, I'm excited to play with a brand new weapon here in Advanced Warfare. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.